Yeah, I think uh, the, the first thing is that uh, um, anyone who is coming in, as I mentioned earlier also that anyone who com comes in, the first thing is that we have the right kind of people coming in. Now people have come in and they are the new entrants. So how do we ensure that they are aligned and they, um, they also accept the high uh, performing work culture. So it is very necessary that we tell them about uh, the organization and we start from beginning, we give them a complete you know larger view, big picture of the organization. Uh, storytelling comes in very handy here because there are a lot of things which have happened to why they happen, how they happen and what is the Im implication of that. All this is shared with the newcomers. So they understand that yes it is not just uh, you know somebody sermonizing from there. They understand that this is a reality which has happened and anybody can go and check. So right from the beginning you start believing in the organization that is step one. The second is that when you show or give them a larger picture, a bigger picture, you also communicate with them that larger picture happens because of continuous uh, you know challenging targets and continuously uh, meeting those targets. And that is possible only if um, you know we perform at high speed, perform at high levels. And for that what is needed by the individual is that individual should be ready to accept that challenge. And from day one, one is not ready in terms of with the way with all in terms of skills and in terms of knowledge and the rest of it. So there is enough opportunity for you to learn, enough opportunities for you to get trained, build your skills. So there is enough support available. So this feeling comes into the newcomer saying that yes, this is an organization which is a history. It is an organization which is challenging targets, it is an organization which is ready to believe me and it is an organization which is ready to give me enough opportunity to learn and contribute. So in the process there is excitement, so you create that excitement amongst people and then give them challenging targets, challenging targets of the kind which they can meet and sometimes they fail and we encourage failure as well in the sense we, we do not discourage failure rather. We say that if you fail it is fine, does not matter, there is enough learning in that. So one is free to take that jump, one is ready to take that risk knowing that even if I fail so what, so let me stretch myself. So right from the beginning people start stretching themselves and what do you need in a high performing organization? People understand, accept, they start looking inside for finding answers and stretching themselves to achieve and when everyone starts doing it, that is what it is. So you create that. Another is that very often because of this uh, conflict of team and individual, um, you know there is an inherent um, conflict somewhere in the concepts. When you say that it is just the teamwork, individual feels that is it that I am not supposed to take extra initiative because it is the teamwork. So let the team decide. So I think this, uh, this part also needs to be handled that one is saying that you take initiatives which is aligned to what is the team goal and hence your individually as well you need to stretch as much as the team. Now this we do through projects, individual projects, team projects. So everyone starts learning and learning the difference between individual and team performance and how individual can contribute towards team and how individual stretching helps team stretch and how team stretch helps individual to stretch you know all this one starts understanding. And that is what is the, the program that we have in Tata Steel where we create that it's uh, right in the beginning that onboarding program that we have and then we take them through a period of training programs. So we familiarize them with everything, we familiarize with every uh, aspect of the work. And then during the training program, we all take them out for a 15 days uh, training program at the base camp of Mount Everest. Bachendri Pal who was the first uh, lady who uh, you know conquered Mount Everest, 
she is our head of uh, adventure foundation that we have. So, she takes this batch every year and um, everyone goes in, 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 in batches and she takes them on a 15 days course right up to the base camp of Mount Everest and one can understand in those difficult conditions that what exactly teamwork is, what exactly individual contribution is, what is empathy, how to work together, lot of learning comes and solve practical learning. So, that is how we prepare everyone together and um, make all the youngsters um, a part of the high performing uh, culture of Tata Steel. Thank you.